Gordon Monaco here with a Cairo Advocate, and today I'm super excited to introduce you another big time Cairo Advocate as well, my buddy Dan McCoy. What's up, buddy? Hey, brother from another mother, man. How are you? I am so excited. We're gonna have, I can tell you're going to have fun already. So oh, yeah. Dan and I, we met, I think, three years ago, maybe four years ago. Yeah, the 2013, I want to say. Yeah, and then uh, we've been friends since. And he's another guy who has a big heart for helping chiropractors. And he's the founder of Tech Subluxation, which I love the name. I love the name. I should have like communication subluxation, and I love it. There and go. uh, he's going to talk to us today about the mistakes that most chiropractors make in terms of technology and most important, how to solve them. And he has a very cool special bonus that he's going to be talking more about. So, but before we go into it, let me ask you why you decided to work and help Kairos. What's the story behind it? Well, Roberto, you know, I, sometimes I believe some things just happen because um, somebody wanted them to happen that way, you know, God or somebody. But for me, it, it was about uh, about four years ago, and uh, I started working with our mutual friend Garrett Gunderson. Yep. And uh, you know, I was just I was doing this job. Right, this job just over broke every day. Uh, I was working for a large aerospace corporation, and uh, I was coming home late from work. And man, it was just I was burning it at both ends. My family was hardly seeing me, and my my son said to me, "This was when the 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 change happened for me." My son said to me, "Dad," he said, "The kids make fun of me at school. Um, nobody likes me." And, uh, you know, it, it was this wake up call for me because, see, he had this uh, this condition that the medical community called ADHD, right? He was hyper. He had a hard time focusing. Mm -hmm. And the kids are making fun of him. And uh, so I, I mentioned this to a colleague of mine. And he said, he was in the IT space. And he says, you know, my chiropractor, I had the exact same problem with my son. And my chiropractor uh, was able to, to solve that problem for him. And he hmm. says, would you mind me letting her know about this? I said, sure, absolutely. So he's in Chicago, and so is she. And she contacts me and spends an hour on the phone, doesn't know me, not getting paid, and she spends an hour on the phone with me and my, my wife just educating us of how chiropractic can help children with ADHD. So I'm intrigued at this point. So she wow. tells me a little bit more about it, and she says, uh, and, and, and so she educates me, right? I mean, she just takes the time, her own dime, just letting me know what, what's going on and how the chiropractic can potentially help remove the interference that is preventing his brain from functioning the way it's supposed to. So about the same time, a good friend of mine who I met through Garrett Gunderson, Dr. Ankur Prakash, he says, you know what, um, I'm going to help you find a chiropractor who works with, with kids because at the time my daughter was just one year old and she had never been adjusted. Now mind you, my mindset at that point in time was that chiropractic was just, hey, you got a pain in my neck. You know, lower back issue. Uh, that you know, that's what I understood chiropractic to be, and I think that's probably a large portion of the population. Me too. <laughs> we we just haven't done a good job yeah. of, of of getting the message out, which is part of what has stoked my passion. So, that said, what happened was my uh, this guy he goes and he spends all this time finding a pedo chiropractor who would be great for kids, and he narrows it down to two people, and he says, I think that this person is the right person for you, and here's why. And that guy is my chiropractor today. In fact, I was there just an hour ago. I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, he, he took this time, what, yet another chiropractor, right? So Gary Gunnarsson always talks about relationship capital a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's great to know something. It's great to have this mind, but the mental capital times relationship capital is where financial capital happens. That's how you make money in the business. So relationship capital, I looked around, who do I have relationships with? And at the time, Garrett Gunderson was working with tons of chiropractors. And so for me, I looked around and I went, I have all these chiropractors who I know, who are friends with. I have, I have these chiropractors who have done so much for me. Why in the world would I not serve a a, 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 a group that has been so passionate to help me out and it was sparked. It was like that. And, and about that time I was uh, on the mountain with uh, Dr. Dan Yachter and Garrett Gunderson. We were up there in the mountains in Utah and we were in the zone and uh, Dan Yachter says to me, you know, you should call it tech subluxation. And I went, 
you got to be kidding me because I literally had just registered that domain. No way. Come on. Two weeks I before. Love I kid you not. Two weeks before. I love that. So Yachter tells me that and it was like, it was like, all right, this is meant to be. This is going to happen. And two weeks, brother, two weeks, we launched it, got everything in place. And uh, it's just been a whirlwind of relationship building since then. And, and uh, I'm just I'm just psyched because, you know, chiropractors have just uh, really been done so much for me. And it's interesting because um, you and I had this interview scheduled for for Friday. Yep. And uh, you you mentioned you weren't feeling so great. Yep. And you, what did you do to solve that? Got problem? adjusted. Got adjusted, baby. You got adjusted, and you were pounding the the nerves and, yep. and the, the the herbs rather than the nerves. Yep. Yeah. Well, you had the nerves <laughs> pounded, so you could get the herbs pounded, right? And, and then so for for me, that's the same thing. Like I told you, man. It, it, and this hit me Saturday. And the great thing is that we have these tools, right? Chiropractic is a tool in our toolbox that allows us to get rid of, make sure. The first thing I do, right, whenever I have a problem is, is get rid of any of that interference. So I feel, I sound worse than I am, but I feel great right you now. Know crazy about, you know what's crazy about it is because before the old Roberto, when I had my allergy attacks, I would have one procedure to try to handle. Now mm -hmm. I have a different procedure, I'm, I'm sure, thanks to our chiropractor friends, man. I yeah. love that. And by the way, I love the name tax conversation. That's sharp. I love it. I totally love it. So how, what, uh, let's talk about the understand that the subluxation part of it. Let's talk about the tech part of it because we all, you know, we, we mentioned Garrett Gunness a lot. I love Garrett, man. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. He changed my life, man. I'm here today yeah. serving chiropractors yeah. full time because of Garrett Gunness. Me too. Gunnison. Garrett changed my life too. Got to make sure we send this interview to him. Love Garrett. So with yep. uh, let's talk about the tech part of it. Why? Why you? Why technology? Why you devote your life not only to help chiropractors but to focus on technology? Well, I came up through um, the technology space. My background is electrical engineering. Um, I've got a design background. Uh, I work for large aerospace corporation, working with technology for a long time, building aircraft and designing cockpits. And I, I really started to just love working with computers and finding a way, not just computers, but finding a way for businesses as I started to get into this. How do businesses, what are the pains that businesses, chiropractors, anybody has when it comes to their technology? What are the things that prevent them from doing what they do best? And, and it, became, it became a challenge for me because I love challenges, right? It became a challenge. How do I take that that problem that they have that maybe is getting in the way of allowing them to do what they do best. Maybe maybe they think in their mind, in their mind's eye, they can only see 130 people a week or, or 150 people a week because they say, I've got this physical limitation, when in the reality is it's a process problem. Maybe they they have technology that's not allowing it to flow. You don't, Dr. Chris Zeno, right? We, yeah. we both know Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris, the largest chiropractor in perhaps the history of the profession, uh, sees you know over 2,000 patients a week on a regular basis. Why? Because he has created systems and processes, not just around technology. Technology is a piece of that. But um, what I come down to is what I call our three Ps, right? I'm writing down, three, baby. Three Ps. Just write them down. Here me. it goes. First one is protection. Okay. Uh, the second one is productivity. And the third one is profitability. And it's a progression that we take people through. Now, check this out. What we do for a chiropractor's computer network okay. is the same thing that they do for the human body. How so? Because if you think about this, when a chiropractor, like you talk to a chiropractor, yeah. what do they do? When, when you go in to see your chiropractor first time, he, he checks you out. He yeah. goes, he says, maybe, maybe, maybe you have some known pain, yeah. right? Maybe you have some known pain. That known pain is what we would call the, the known issues, right? You say yep. maybe my computers aren't working right, maybe my email is not is slow, my my uh, my system keeps crashing. Maybe the known issues that we have, right? Maybe I, my neck hurts. If we're going to relate it to that, my back hurts. Yep. You got a known issue. Got it. However, what are those underlying problems? One that may be the source of it, but two, the things that you don't see that are happening, right? You may have a subluxation in the area of the neck that feeds a nervous flow to your heart. You may not feel that pain right now, but they they have that problem that could ultimately show up maybe later in life as time goes on as you start to get more degeneration in the neck. Same problem with the computers. What are the underlying problems? Maybe they have a virus. Maybe they have 
you know, sensitive patient data on a machine that they don't know about. And that machine, when somebody breaks into their office and steals it, causes a breach that now they got to go deal with it. It prevents them from seeing patients. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I can relate to that before. Having, <laughs> having spilled coffee in my computer, uh, and, I, and, I obviously, and I don't have like thousands of patients, you know, records. You know, coaching is a little bit different. We have a lot of stuff online. But even my computer, man, I didn't have years ago a, back, a backup plan. I mean, that was, that was a challenge. So I totally, I totally uh, relate to that. Yeah, and, and think, I mean, here's a perfect example. Just the other day, I was, uh, is actually my chiropractor. And uh, he, I'm, I'm getting, we're doing some work with him. Okay. And he, we, were, we had an appointment. And I was on the way to the appointment. And I pick up the phone and I said, hey, I'm on my way. They said, yep, we're ready for you. Two minutes later, they call me back and they said, we just had a water line break and it's flooding our uh, break room, which, oh. happens you, which happens to be right next to the server room. Oh. And, and so my first question for him was, is your stuff okay? And the answer was yes, his stuff was okay. But um, I see this all the time. Another chiropractor I'm friends with on Facebook had a flood on his office and he says this. I didn't say a word, right? What's he say? Get your computers up off the floor. There's a free tip for you. That one wasn't even planned. <laughs> but but get your computers, your servers up off the floor. If you have a flood and you get six inches of water in your floor, what's going to get destroyed? You got to think proactively. You got to think strategically, not just reacting to the problem, right? So back to the issue that we were talking about, the way we work with chiropractors, chiropractors are, they, they go in and they, they eliminate the known issues, they find the underlying issues, and then what do they want you to do? They want you to, to proactively prevent a problem. They don't want to see you when you're sick yep. and you're ill. Yep, they, want to, they want to get ahead of that. Yep. And so that's the way we work with folks too. We don't bill by the hour. It's a broken model. It's a yep. model in which, which the, the, I make money when you're down. So what incentive do I have to keep you up? Now, that's not, you know, there's an ethical issue there. But at the same time, for me, it's how do I make sure that I help you meet your goal. And that's if you can spend time saving lives as a chiropractor, if you can spend time saving lives, that's you're not having to worry about this technology. I love that go. because the chiropractors say that their best testimony is the guy who never take drugs or go to the, the hospital. And your best testimony is the doctor who never call you up and say, hey, man, I lost my data or I have big virus, right? Because you're proactively helping them. Yeah. And you know, we help them fulfill their why. Because yeah. for me, for me, when I started, check this out, right? My why was bigger than my what. Mm -hmm. And that's why I am so passionate about helping chiropractors. Uh, we, we, we work with 100% now marketing towards chiropractic. Before I was shotgunning. I was, I was you know, everywhere. It's because I, I don't know why, but it, it, I guess I was afraid to make the jump, to make the change, to isolate myself. But now the passion has just exploded because now that I'm creating relationships in the chiropractic space, now I'm finding out that I can help more and more people and it's fulfilling our mission to be, to reach 10,000 people in the next two years. So I love man, that. I, I love it. And I love hearing your, your goal, right? To impact what's your number. You no, wanna... My goal, I want, I want to get my goal that I, I want to help every single one of those guys, 60,000 of them. I know call me crazy through other, through my events and through the CDs to help because if, if I th imagine what would happen in the industry where you have 60,000, almost like the movie 300, but then we have a happy ending where they, they actually win the war or lose the war when they, we help them become master communicators. So we and yeah. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, alike. But, so with all the doctors that you helped, and I'm sure you've seen all kinds of things, what are the three common mistakes that they're making and you I want you to talk about the mistake and maybe give a tip or two, provide some value to them. So what is the number one, let's say one mistake that you've seen happen over and over and over again? When you go to the office or you do the quote unquote, the x-ray exam, I'm sure you do. How is your x-ray exam, by the way? My, I, we do an evaluation. <laughs> evaluation, so yeah. We, we do the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> we literally go through, if, if, if you put the, what we do side by side, where we go in and do an evaluation, <coughs> Excuse me. If you wonder why, by the way, I have a nice pink water bottle. Yeah. This is my daughter's water bottle because <laughs> I literally just walked out of my chiropractic uh, office I love with and left my uh, water bottle there. <laughs> and I knew I had to get back to do this interview, so I'm like, uh, ah, forget it. I called him up. I said, put it aside. I'll get to it when I get back. <laughs> um, 
for, for us, it's a network security audit. So it's, it's understanding and we also do a HIPAA risk analysis to make sure we understand where those underlying problems that we have, uh, that they have are, and, and, and then uh, we can help them identify. Is that part of the bonus that you're going to give uh, to us, our listeners? What, what is the bonus? By the way, before you go into the mistake, what, what's, just give a little, a, little, a little teaser here in the bonus, the bonus content. Uh, you, you're going you're gonna to twist my arm to get to <laughs> that, that cat out of the bag. Just a little well, bit. Just one, one of the tips that we have is, uh, is, is that there are problems with using the free email accounts at Roberto. And I see mm. just about every chiropractor out there using AOL, Yahoo, Hotmail. And let me tell you something. It's bad news for a, a few reasons. And wow. if they sign up for what you got, man, we're gonna get a, they're going to get a, a video of us really just getting right down to it and talking about um, what are those um, you know, how can you communicate your private information right today? How can you communicate privately to a patient? Because um, it's a HIPAA violation. They can't do it. They can't send patient information over email. But there are ways it can be done, right? And then with, with high-tech phone systems, there's a mistake, right? The single biggest mistake I see chiropractors make that is actually putting their business at risk and they don't know it. So we're going to talk about that. I love that. So make sure to sign up for free here, Chiro Advocates, who can get Dan's video. So let's talk about... The, the one mistake that you've seen technology and what to do about it. Mistake number one, what is it? Yeah, mistake number one, Roberto, yeah. number one, is uh, ignoring HIPAA compliance. Okay. So, they you know, HIPAA is actually spelled with two A's, not H-I-P-P-A, as I see so many people do. It's H-I-P-A-A. -A. Okay. But uh, HIPAA is a, is a regulation that was designed to create privacy with the patient, right? You, when you go to a chiropractor or go to a doctor, they make you sign a form saying, this is how we use your information. Okay. So many doctors have it locked down that they have all the patient information signed and everything. But what most doctors overlook, most chiropractors overlook is that they need to do that for the computer side of things too. There's hmm. a, a second rule under HIPAA called the HIPAA security rule. And under the HIPAA security rule, I, I can tell you, I'm getting ready to do a video series on the top 10 mistakes that I see chiropractors make when it comes to actually really most the top 10 laughable mistakes that I see people make because I see them make statements like, I'm too small. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it doesn't matter what size you are. You are required to comply with HIPAA. But I want to take this a step further because here's why. Right. Check this out. Okay. I was on a webinar the other day with a uh, and, and the guy chiropractor gets on there and he's talking about HIPAA and he says, you know, I want to I, 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 this is something you guys got to go do. I know y'all hate it, but you got to comply with HIPAA. So here are the here's the rules. Here's what you got to go do. <sighs> really? Let's just flip this on its head for a second. When we do our talks with HIPAA, I want docs to understand how it can help them save more lives, right? I want them to understand how creating a culture of compliance, check this out. My best chiropractors, clients, are those that coach already. Yep. Why do you think that is? Culture of compliance. A lot why, of do you th why do you think that chiropractors who coach with somebody like you mm -hmm. or with Garrett Gunderson or any of those types already are my best clients because you hazard guess? i would say because they already they're doing they're focusing their sole purpose and they leverage the stuff they're not good to experts like you and me and someone else there you go that those who who seek help already understand the need for this because it can't get in the way they create a culture of compliance and so the the, the same techniques or the same things the, the chiropractors who say guess what uh, we're going to do this because it's the right thing to do because i care about my patients i care about them not having a breach because guess what if you have a a, a breach think about how much pain it puts you through oh, think yeah. about how much how many patients lives you're not going to save if you're about saving lives and you can't see as many patients because you're embroiled in a breach you've 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 uh, betrayed their trust because their data that you were holding sensitive because they trusted you is now out. What does it do to you? Hey, um, not only not only the time effort, right, that you gotta do, and, and here's a learn too, man. When you when you try to that's not the expertise and that let's say something that you focus on and you already have a proven system of helping so many people. Now we got a doctor who his mindset is on let's say adjusting, whatever. And then try to switch gears, go to something unknown to already have a system in place to protect them and help them save time money energy and it's like uh no brainer for, sure. for me 
for sure. And and the biggest part of that, and and, and I'll tell you, um, if if at the end I'm going to give you a way that you can get. In fact, you know what? Uh, let's let's make this even more valuable for them. If they sign up for your right next door here to your to this uh, video, uh, we're going to give them a 14 minute interview that I did okay. with uh, with Dr. Ryan. Uh, okay. He's a he's a he's a client now, but uh, he went through a HIPAA breach, and and you'll hear the interview from his own words. Forget me telling you his story. I'm gonna let him tell Love the story that. to you. Love that. Because guess what? Guess what? He had almost eight hundred thousand dollars in fines and and <laughs> costs. That who knows what that would have done to his practice. And he'll tell you in his own words what it felt like to go through that breach and what the ultimate outcome was. So wow. Um, well, number you know, two, my brother. I, now that you know, make sure you get uh, Dan's video for free. Just put your email so we can send Dan's video to you, so you avoid any mistake, and then you can have peace of mind to serve and help people. Number yep. two, bud, what's the second number, mistake? Number two, uh, improper insurance. Okay. So you going? What's this? What's this technology guy talking about? Yeah, I know. That's what's gonna happen. My mind goes like. I was gonna call John the Villa now. I was like, <laughs> hey, absolutely. So, so here, here's why I care about that so much. Um, I, I work a lot more as a coach okay. than I do just the technology geek. Okay. I'm, I'm like, if you think about this, if you get Roberto's help, Roberto's gonna teach you how to communicate your message more effectively uh. to cut to to the masses, right? But then. What if you could have Roberto actually come speak for you or alongside of you, right? So that's kind of what we do is we, we don't speak, but in addition to... Oh, you do speak, by the way. You do well, speak. Well, of course, You're... of course we speak. Of course we speak. <laughs> you have but, a radio show now. Of course. You... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, but, but I'm saying we don't speak on your behalf, right? Yeah. So, but, but in addition to... In addition to educating you and, and helping you understand how you can be more protective, productive and profitable, we actually come alongside you and do it all for you so you can focus on what? Adjusting because that's all you want to do. You don't want to mess yeah. with the technology, right? Um, number two, number two problem is not having the proper insurance. That's cyber liability or network data breach insurance. Now, the challenge that I, I, I 99% chiropractic, uh, we just did a webinar for Dr. Uh, John Davila. Okay. And of all the people, we had the over 100 people registered. And uh, it was on hungry, it was called Hungry, Hungry HIPAA, how following the rules can keep your office protected, productive, and profitable. And in, in that webinar, over half the people that attended reach out to us because wow. the message impacted them. The message impacted them so much. They said, you know what? I got to take action because I don't want my ability to save patients to be impacted. And of those people that we did reviews for, we look at them, only one of them, only one, had the proper insurance. Wow. Including this doctor, by the way, who I interviewed, did not have the proper insurance. So had he had a breach, wow. he thinks he's covered, he had had to do all that himself, he'd probably been out of business. You know, it's kind of like sometimes doctors, whatever, they're seeing a thousand a week, uh, 800 a week. 1500 a week. So like at the analogy I give that you can use, you can, have, you can be the best driver, the most beautiful car, the best highway, the best scenery, but you're still going to have blind spots. And sound to me like if you help 50 people and one of them was compliance, the other 49 were not, the doctors that are listening to us right now should call you because they may have a little blind spots, right? They're small, tiny, but they can be deadly for their practice. So, yeah. And the challenge that we've come across is that they they go to these seminars on the weekends, yeah. and they learn all about HIPAA, and then they come back and they have they have um, paralysis by analysis because they're looking at it and they don't understand where to start. And so we solved that problem for them. We just we just created a done for you HIPAA compliance. Nobody else was doing this. We actually do everything for them. We write their policies and procedures. We do their analysis. All they got to do is show up and answer the questions. Love it. Right? It's done for you, right? Love Get it. Get it done. Get it done. Number number three, my boy. I, I like the word, number by the three. way, cyber liability. And I was like, that's good. That's good, man. It, it, it is because, I mean, there's, there's specific insurance. It's optional on every single policy. And the insurance people aren't out there educating on their behalf. So we have to step in. And we want to help them make sure they understand where their blind spots are. And you're absolutely right. I love that term. They're blind spots. They don't know what they don't know because guess what? They didn't go to school for that. This isn't taught in chiropractic school. It should be, but it isn't. Love it. 
I, I might have to talk to a couple chiropractic <laughs> schools about that. <laughs> you, <laughs> or you know how to speak, man. You're a great speaker, bud. You're a great speaker. Number three, what's the third mistake? <sighs> number three, um, you know, number three really is going to be using your, your, your personal email and they're going to get all the free stuff on the other side. But I'm going to throw in one more tip right now that okay. I didn't mention. Okay. And that is having weak passwords and not changing them. Number one, number one biggest problem I see with a chiropractic email that gets hacked. And Don DeVille, you talk to John DeVille. Do they get hacked a lot? All the time. All the time. Come on. I get eight, I get eight a week. Eight different ones a no week. No way. Eight different ones a week. And you know you know why that's really bad? Ah, you're going to have to wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, now I'm blown away. Why? No, why? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Is, are, are they targeting chiropractors? No. No, because they're using free emails. Think about it. Let me ask you a question. If we're gonna put, if we're gonna put a, a, a threat landscape out there, okay, we're gonna paint this picture. Okay. All right. You have free email on Yahoo. Okay. Or you have your own brand name, your own domain name, right? Influenceology.com. Yeah. Or you got Yahoo. If I, if I am a hacker and I think, put your head, put your brain in their okay. shoes for a second. I want to, I want to go out and hack as many people as possible. You think I got a better chance of trying to find some individual where I can get one or two people or go to Yahoo where I can get, cast a big net? I would go to Yahoo. It's easy, easy target. So there you go. You just got a little piece of the free aspects of what wow. we're talking about. I just love that. Little... I, I, I never, I never connected dots, but I'm sure to see you see a lot of uh, what is one of the coolest stories, success stories that you have helped doctors to prevent something or they're in trouble or something that you really was like, you felt, oh man, that was cool, job well done, go text the vaccination. Do you have anything that, or that's going to be part of the video that you're going to be sending? I, I got to tell you, man, I'm going to say it again. Dr. Ryan's story is going to blow your way. Oh, wow. We wait for that. Story. We wait for that. This his story is the number one for me because I love it. because we saved this practice, we saved his family, we saved his we saved everything about it, and and I gotta say that's the proudest one for us. But we have we have numbers of stories like that. Well, we wanna wait for that. So now the doctors are listening to you and they will be like, hey, how do I work with them? So give us uh, the best way to work with you. What's the process? How to contact you? I was actually going over your tax taxation uh, site today. Look sharp, bud. Thanks, really man. Sharp. I love it. it. There's a little Roberto influenceology in there. Actually, <laughs> most of that was put together before you, but uh, it, it needs to be tweaked a little uh, bit. Quite honestly, uh, I think uh, my website is a little bit like the chiropractors' uh, networks. You know, uh, they uh, they get focused on uh, on helping other people uh, and they uh, forget to take care of some of those things. So, how do I work? How do they call you up? What's the best way to go uh, uh, to connect with you? Yeah, so um, I'm going to give you two bonuses. One, um, you sign up here, you're going to get some more content. Okay. But also, I want to give you um, some extra content. Okay. And uh, easiest way easiest way is to pick up your cell phone. Mine's over there. If you pick up your cell phone and you text okay. this word, right? You're going to like this one, Roberto, right? Yeah. You text the word Roberto. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> right? so, so check I'm going to text number. Roberto. <laughs> there you go. Double three. Sorry, this is this is this is my double. Double three, triple four, right? Three three, four four four. That's the number you're gonna text the word Roberto to. So go into your cell phone and type the phone number you're gonna text to. Right, that phone number three, is three 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 four, three four four four, double three triple four, and you text the word Roberto. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Tell, I'm gonna do you that. You wanna tell them how to spell that? You wanna tell them how to spell that? <laughs> so so just in case, you know, is my name you spell. R O B E R T O. And in case you need a four, four, in, in case you need a Brazilian interpreter there, <laughs> a Portuguese interpreter, that's R O B E R T O. You know it's funny when I go uh, when I go to uh there's always this, the funniest thing and when I go to buy stuff for business, they always now they instead of they say do you want a printed re uh, receipt or email or they say email and that's the funny thing. So what's your email say? Roberto at influenceology. Dude. Every single time they got like influence, uh, look, 10 out of 10, they know how to spell. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to text the number 33444 to Roberto, R-O-B-E-R-T-O. -E then you're going to get a special uh, bonus. And then uh, your website, bud, is? It's uh, www.tech, T-E-C-H, right? Tech, Sublux. 
dot com or techsubluxation.com. Both of them will get you there. Hopefully, you know how to spell that word. I love that. And if they want to email you directly, your email yeah, is? for sure. If you want to email me directly, you can email me to Dan. And we'll put this on the on the screen, right? Yeah. Uh, Dan.wellness at techsublux.com. T-E-C-H-S-U-B-L-U-X.com. My brother, thanks so much for your passion, for your desire to help chiropractors. That's why you are a chiro advocate. Thanks so much, my brother. Appreciate you. You got it, man. Thank you for what you do, too. Make sure you sign up a chiro advocate as well. Put your email so you can get Dan's bonus. All right? It's going to be killer. You guys, take care. Thanks, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye now.